It's Marianne from Thrive Admin Services and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at how you can use the design ideas function inside Microsoft PowerPoint to level up your presentations and add that really professional graphic edge. I want to put a couple of disclaimers at the front before we get started. Remember that for this video, I am working in Microsoft PowerPoint using a Microsoft 365 business standard subscription, not a personal or uh, web-based. I'm also working on the desktop version of PowerPoint here, and I am using my Mac. So if you're on a PC, if you're using a different web browser, I'll be using Google Chrome, but it'll all be desktop. If you're using different web browsers, it will look different. And also if you are working on a PC. So let's go. So the first thing we need to know is how to access design ideas. So in this, I'm doing, I'm showing you this from a blank presentation and I haven't put any content in yet so that we can see the changes as they happen. To access the design ideas, we head either from the home tab, we head to the end here on the right hand side to where it says designer. The other way you'll always find it is under the design tab. It's always going to be the very last option. When we click it, it's going to open up this sidebar that's really helpful. Now, at the moment, the sidebar has no restrictions on it. It has no rules. There's no content. There's no images. There's no font colors or, or font choices that help it to or sort of refine the options it's going to present to you. So it's going to say, here are some great ideas that we like. What do you think? And you can click at the bottom here to produce lots more ideas. And you can scroll through and find something that looks suitable to you. Now there are a couple of disclaimers. You need to remember that these are graphics and images as backgrounds and you won't be able to edit too much of that functionality. So it's going to help create a layout for you, but you are going to have to work with the rules that it brings in. So I'm going to try and find something that gives me some of the options that look like my brand. So that's your first, my first tip for you. And I'm going to go with what do we like? What do we like the look of today? Let's go. Oh, let's go with, I like the lollipop one we saw actually. That was back up here. This one here, the lollipops. We like some lollipops. So what I can do here is I can add my title now. So it's got all these boxes in. So this one is introducing design ideas and the subtitle, which is a, oops, Okay, so at the moment, that's my slide and it's very, very boring. You can see now because I've put some text in, it's going to start giving me some different options again. So if I wanted to, I can refine this further. The next thing I want to do is I may want to add the next slide in my presentation. Now, the interesting thing here is that because I've chosen this slide, there are a couple of things that have happened. You'll notice because I'm on the design tab, the theme looks different. If I go back to my home tab now and I click here, you can see we've got some theme colors that are different to the standard colors that would normally be there. The text has already been chosen. And if I go now go right click here and new slide, you'll see it's putting that slide in in the same layout. So it's got that black background, but I always get these options as well. So I might decide, let's see some more design ideas and we'll see what it comes up with here. So you can see it's giving me the option here if I want to add a title. It's got the it's put the date in at the top. It's got some footer text here and I can click here and I can say accessing. Let's make it access. You can see it looks like a bit of a card. It's going to give me some options now. It's giving me a few different layouts that I can do. This one has a transition on it already. If I go new slide, and now I might decide we're going to do some regular text. So we might do this and we'll go access and we'll click here and we might say click on the home tab, click on the design tab, just so it's got some ideas in here of what we might want to include. And now what it's going to do is it's going to, as I add content as we go, as you can see, it's starting to give me some different layouts that fit with the theme here. So I can start to create some graphic elements. 
let's see this one would be and this has got uh, a chart in it but it's giving me a few different ways of being able to present the same information in in a different layout so that I can create something dynamic and engaging and now if I go uh, new slide here I can duplicate this slide and it's going to give me the same thing again but and even if I do this slide it's going to then give me some different ways I could present that as well so I can still tailor and customize the elements to create something really unique for me. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can still go in here and you can edit these. So I might decide I want it in my own brand font. So we can do that. And I might decide that I want it in, oops, it's a bit tricky, isn't it? Because it's going to be, let's make it, let's do that one also in my brand font. And then this one here, I might decide I want that in my brand color. And I can do that with one of these like that. And if I now go to designer and click again, it's going to start producing things again. So you can see it's starting to use my colors here and it's going to give me some options so that I can continue to evolve those elements and create content that suits my brand but also brings in those graphic pieces that I may not have known how to use otherwise. So there you have it, the design ideas function inside Microsoft PowerPoint, allowing you to use graphic elements in your presentations without having to think about how you create them from scratch yourself or without spending all of your time focused on that and not on the really important part, which is the actual content you want to present. So have a play, get into Microsoft PowerPoint, whether you're on the web or a desktop version and check it out. Take an existing presentation and see how it, it presents some different options for you or give it a go when you work on your next presentation. If you are looking for more hints and tips on all things Microsoft 365, then don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions about working with this feature, pop it as a comment on this video or find me hanging out on all of the socials. You'll find me under Thrive Admin Services on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, and here on YouTube. Have a good day.